Uh, now, there's been some developments with Billy mm-hmm. Corgan's NWA. If you call well, yeah, and weirdly enough, those developments include WWE's NXT. It does, yeah, yeah. Uh, where uh, so Billy Corgan was was all like, "Hey guys, check me out! I signed a bunch of TV deals. I make wrestling," and everyone was like, "Oh, that's interesting." And then they found out it was the CW that that apparently they'd signed with, and so we all assumed that there was going to be some kind of like high school reboot where like Tyrus and EC3 are in a contentious relationship where they love each other but they can't say anything about it. Oh, I would, or, or, I would, know. I would legitimately watch that show over oh, yeah, NWO yeah. and NWA power. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> um, but yeah, and then apparently, and and this is the part that blows my mind mm-hmm. for no reason whatsoever. Uh, on an NWA pay per view, Billy Corgan apparently insisted that uh, some of his talent looked like they were doing cocaine. Father James Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> like, this is the part that boggles my mind. There is zero reason for this. Well, there's, if you do a cost benefit analysis, <laughs> what do you gain from having Father James Mitchell do cocaine on your broadcast? Well, you get a few people going, yeah, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But the negative of that is that you might cost yourself the TV deal you'd been working on for years. Right. Yeah, there yes. is that. Yeah. So, again, like, are you willing to uh, risk that to get this? Tonight? Tonight? No, not tonight. No. Yeah. So it ended up having, uh, I would say, negative consequences uh, mm-hmm. for the promotion. Yeah, and like he needs to understand this isn't 1979 anymore. Mm-hmm. Like you, you good you song, but yeah, you can't throw that stuff out there. You're starting to pick up on it. I love it. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can't just like put that stuff out there and and assume that the people that you're working with elsewhere are going to be okay with it. And the best part of it is, and I don't even know, even know who approached who or what happened, but all of a sudden. The WWE has signed a deal for NXT to be on the CW, and it's for like a significant amount of money. Oh so, yeah, they they got way more money from the CW network than they were getting uh, from from the USA network. Mm. Uh, so like they 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 got some money. So CW this is a and- rare occasion where cocaine is benefiting the wrestlers <laughs> of the WWE. Um, so a bunch of stuff has come out about Billy Corgan over the the last week. And it definitely seems like he's got some people on his roster. I don't know how many, but he's got enough people on his roster uh, frustrated with him that they are reaching out to, uh, to media about it. So specifically to Nick Hossman from Mm -hmm. Haas of wrestling. So that's good for him. He's, he's the CM punk guy. And now, and now he's the, uh, the NWA disgruntled employee no. guy. I was going yeah. to say, like, he's he's on one hand the straight edge guy's representative, but on the other hand, highly involved in the cocaine angle. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I, I mean, this is this is bad for the NW. Like, they, they this keeps happening to this company ever since, really, Nick Aldis left. Mm-hmm. It's just been this embarrassing story after an embarrassing story. And Billy Corgan has has two choices about where he can go with this. Like when there was a huge negative backlash to Tyrus being champion, he mm-hmm. doubled down and got defensive. If he does that this time, I like, I just don't think he yeah. should do that this time. He, I, I think it would be best for him if he said like, look, I'm new at running a wrestling company. Yeah. We're going to take your feedback and we're going to adjust and we're going to work to create uh, the kind of promotion that fans deserve. He needs to go that route instead of the mm-hmm. doubling down like he did with Tyrants. Yeah, and this one having such sort of like immediate impact on the company mm-hmm. too. No pun intended yes. there yeah. either. You know, but like they had a TV deal that so WWE's TV deal for NXT on the CW was apparently yeah. in the like 25 to 35 million for the year. Yeah, range, which is great, great money. So if even if C- the CW was offering like 
half of that for NWA, that's game changing money for them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And he's just completely pissed it away. Well, okay. So like the cocaine thing is getting like a lot of play, Mm -hmm. but there, there had to already be detractors, right? Like, You're not going to be super enthusiastic that the NWA is coming to your company. And then James Mitchell does cocaine. And then you do a complete 180, right? Like I imagine there were people within that company looking for a reason to say, we need to get out of this game with Billy Mm -hmm. Corgan and uh, into uh, dry martini with NXT. Yeah. We need to get out of this cocaine with Corgan and with someone like Shawn Michaels who, knows a lot about cocaine but doesn't do it anymore (laughs) yeah so like i i imagine it was it was one of those things where maybe like the cw and more stories have come out like the cw approached tony Mm -hmm. khan about ring of honor in 2022 so they've clearly wanted to get into the into the wrestling business Mm -hmm. um but so for them to be so quick to have a negative response Mm -hmm. to the cocaine spot strikes me as some people going hey let's just stick with nxt uh, and maybe yeah. you know world maybe they're trying to set themselves up as like the one-stop shop for yeah all these different indie brands or something like that it seems like a strange way to go if you're running a broadcast network but what do i know you know, hey, uh, you know? it's but yeah it or they might have just had all these fish in the fu- in the frying pan and been like all right let's see which one ends up tasting best you know because yeah. there's no harm in the shotgun approach uh-huh but also if they're if they've made a concerted effort as a network we're going into the wrestling industry i'm sure they've done their research and well, if you've done well uh, i yeah, work that's in true. tv okay <laughs> like, i don't want to say too much but it would not at all shock me if everyone assumed that everyone else was doing the due diligence And like, I'm kind of amazed that someone told them that the cocaine thing happened. Like, first of all, let's just take a second to be like, wow, someone was watching a a NWA pay-per-view. That's pretty great. No, that's, that's not what happened. Oh, Uh, no, they were, people were tagging the CW network on social media with clips of it. So their social media team was inundated with these complaints about it. So like, like, like you're getting complaints before they've even announced you're on the network. Yeah. Right? Like it's just not a great sign. It's, it's not little, a, it's yeah. It's a little disarming. <laughs> oh boy. I, I don't know how many have, have been in there. I've been uh I've been looking to or like listening yeah. for Cherub Rock, you know? It's like that's a good sign. I don't know if I'll be able to do that one today. I don't I, I don't Oh come on now. Hey now. <laughs> um but then I had also heard that the CW deal with the NWA was like far from closed and they were thinking of putting it on their app. Them being upset about the cocaine spot, uh, the cocaine spot. Ah, the cocaine spot. <laughs> Sounds like a hip club in 1979. <laughs> the, it's not illegal yet. Cocaine spots. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So, oh, so then after the, the cocaine thing came out, um, the story was that uh, they were going to just put the NWA programming on the app and that actually their deal to get NWA uh, on, the, on the CW network, that was actually done as part of separate negotiations with Billy Corgan over getting footage to his wedding or something. What happened so, to his wedding? I don't know. People are into weddings. I I don't know who. Well, you know, it's a, it's maybe celebrity he had a rhinoceros wedding. or something. That would. First of all, I like if somebody told me, "Hey, Billy Corgan got married, and there was a rhinoceros there," I'd be like, "That's yeah. none of that is surprising to me." You'd be like, "Yish." Um, but I like okay. So like, part of this story is obviously very funny, but <laughs> I but it's also obviously. Obviously, but it's also bad for like anything that's bad for one wrestling company, unless that wrestling company is really embarrassing wrestling. Like, it, you know, as mm-hmm. we've said before, Billy Corgan wants to take this uh, old school approach to to professional wrestling. And I think it's good mm-hmm. for wrestling to have as many unique and diverse products out there. That's that's mm-hmm. what's best for wrestling. So 
Billy Corgan harming his own company here it isn't good for wrestling. And I, I really do sincerely hope that instead of getting defensive and doubling down mm-hmm. like he did with Tyrus, that he says, all right, I'm going to take this feedback and I'm going to work towards mm-hmm. uh, creating a better promotion. We're going to make it perfect. And like, I hear what you're saying and I understand like, yes, I agree. The more wrestling, the better, the more, yeah. you know, diversity between promotions and different styles and all that hundred percent in on it. Um, but I'm also kind of like, unless you are a, wrestling wrestling fan like a mm-hmm. a dirt sheet reading raw taping seth rollins hating wrestling fan you you like if you're not that person do you even know the nwa is in business well like does this, it really matter like do you, this, it doesn't change how the how people think of wrestling right. outside of the small like hardcore circle Mm -hmm. so i don't know if it's like bad for wrestling in terms of like like watching someone kind of fumble the ball isn't bad it's 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 unfortunate you know i i wouldn't mind if if he did well i mean the guy's so damn melancholy it's like he's got infinite sadness that one was obvious but uh, that was a great album too i remember when that album came out it was like it's two cds i know yeah oh my god there's two of them and one i listened to it i was i was like there's two CDs of this. God. <laughs> oh. Here's I why take I a day off work. Here's why I, I, I don't think it, it's good for wrestling. If bad things happen to the NWA, because mm. more promotions with television contracts means more promotions with wrestlers getting paid mm. more wrestlers getting paid means a deeper talent pool. A deeper talent pool means better wrestling. Right. Mm. So, uh understandable you know. yeah. yeah no i'm i'm with you in that regard mm-hmm. yeah I, you know and but it's like i still think it's a little strange that the cw was kind of like we're courting this and didn't they ask inquire about like mlw too at one point and uh, uh i don't, I don't know for sure said, mlw but uh the yeah nxt you know. ring of honor and i think they think there was like maybe one other promotion which could have been in play. And it seems like the NXT thing kind of came out of nowhere. It does seem too. like, like it, 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 I don't know if it was because we were focused on the NWA being the one that ended up on the CW but for NXT to be like, yeah, we're on the CW now. Kind of like 10 minutes after this happened. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Was someone at WWE like calling their pal at the CW being like, Hey man, <laughs> well, the... an opening for some wrestling, you know, like, like, how does that happen so quickly? How do those dominoes fall? Because, like well, I say, cor- I've been around a little bit of TV, and usually it is the exact opposite. It takes decades to do anything. Yeah, so there's sort of some conflicting reports out there. The The Nick Houseman report is after James Mitchell did cocaine, talks between WWE and uh, the CW Network accelerated. However... Okay. The, the different, like the time, like James Mitchell just did that cocaine on October 28th. He might mm-hmm. still be awake. <laughs> uh, you know, it's now November 9th when we're having this conversation. Like the talks, like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you have to draw up contracts. People have to review things. <laughs> so like the, the two things don't quite add up. Like it's literally not even been two, two weeks since the cocaine went up father James Mitchell's nose. So like mm-hmm. that timing doesn't add up. And that's why I say like, I think the CW network, at least some people there might've been looking for outs yeah, and, and found one, you know? Yeah. 